A San Francisco restaurant apologizes after denying service to three armed cops, plus the new rules now in effect for international travelers. That and more news coming up. They made a mistake is what the San Francisco restaurant is saying after its staff refused to serve three uniformed cops last Friday. According to a statement posted to Hilda and Jesse's Instagram page on Saturday, the staff felt uncomfortable with the presence of the cops' weapons and asked him to leave. The statement that has since been taken down also said cops are welcomed at their business when they're off duty, out of uniform and without their weapons. Well, backlash has been building. People have been leaving bad reviews on the restaurant's Yelp page, and others have even camped outside the establishment to protest. I'm tired of the way the police are being treated. If something goes wrong here, burglary, robbery, whatever, who are they going to call? The way that they're being treated in the media and, um, and like restaurants or establishments like this is just wrong. On Sunday, the owners posted a second statement saying they made a mistake and apologized for the unfortunate incident, saying they're grateful to all members of the force and hope this will be a teachable moment for them. The San Francisco Police Officers Association has responded saying, quote, three footbeat officers looking to eat where they patrol are treated without any tact or class by this establishment. Fortunately, there are plenty of restaurants that don't discriminate. The city's police chief also released a statement in response saying, quote, The San Francisco Police Department stands for safety with respect, even when it means respecting wishes that our officers and I find discouraging and personally disappointing. What do you think about the situation? Quick FYI, if you haven't heard, there are new rules for international travelers. Starting December 6, every single person looking to fly into the United States must now show proof of a negative COVID test taken 24 hours before departure. The previous rule allowed tests taken within a 72-hour window. If you want more info about the change, head to our website. In weather news, we're starting off the week with some rain. Here's meteorologist Carrie Hall with your forecast. Happy Monday. Well, finally, we have some rain in the forecast and it moves in as early as Monday afternoon into the evening and it quickly passes and rolls out of the Bay Area by Tuesday. But that won't be the last of it. We'll have another chance of rain on Thursday and then again on Sunday. Meantime, all week long, we're looking at chilly temperatures, high staying in the upper 50s to low 60s. And the first two storm systems we'll see will only bring us about a tenth to quarter of an inch of rain. But we are looking at a big storm system that could be here as early as Sunday into next week. So we'll be watching that with the latest updates on NBCBayArea.com as well as on the air. Have a great day. Follow Carrie online to stay on top of any weather changes. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.